All right, Shalom. I want to first start off giving all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh. Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and our elder bishops at Great Millstone. And peace and blessings unto the 144,000, as well as the rest of the elect of the nation of Israel. This is the brother Abadia from the GMS Houston camp. I got a couple of scriptures to go into. Um, first is out of the book of Ecclesiastes, the second chapter and the fourth verse. All right. It says, whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully. And we're going to look at this part of the verse first. All right. And, um, the things that's going to be brought upon us and it's true for the most part is going to be hell you know um tribulations uh tests or you can say tem uh temptations you know the um the battle you know you don't have to it's a fight and when you're in a fight it's not a um comfortable thing you know a fight is a is um it's not a comfortable position to be in when you when you're fighting you know so being in his faith is a is a is a fight it's a spiritual uh battle we gotta now we understand about demons or spirits right and we have to and we understand that we deal with with spirits whether it's the spirits that's on people or just the, the spirits that attack our uh our mind okay but the scripture is saying well, going back to the scripture, not but uh, going back to the scripture, it says, whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully. And that's kind of a um, hard saying to when all these turmoils and um, trials and these different tribulations come upon us to take that cheerfully, you know, because it don't feel good. You know, I we still have emotions. We're in this, um, we're in this flesh. OK, but ultimately. We should uh, be cheerful about it because the, what do the scriptures say? If the most high, uh, well, let's get it. I'll get it real quick. Okay, this is out of the book of Hebrews chapter 12. And I'm going to start at the, uh, the fifth verse. But I want to say this before I get these uh, couple of verses. The rest of our walk in this truth is only going to get, um, it's going to intensify, you know, the, the, um, the hell that we catch. You know, we're, we're approaching Jacob's, the time of Jacob's trouble. We're approaching our temptation. Okay. So, um, things are not going to get, uh, easier. Things are not going to get easier for us, you know. But as things, the, the trials, and as we're catching more and more hell, we're supposed to be getting built up in the faith, okay, to um, get through the hell, you know, that we catch. As Hebrews 12 and 5, it says, and ye, have, and ye have forgotten the exhortation which speaketh unto you as unto children, my son, despise not thou the chastening of the lord because who's bringing the this hell upon us you know that we go through yahweh bashim yahweh shai is right because it's right here we just read it despise not the chastening of yahweh bashim yahweh shai nor faint when thou art re rebuked of him okay that rebuke can come in many uh different ways you know especially you know we make we mess up the most high get on us uh in some cases quick or he can let you think you didn't got away or not got away but you ain't thinking about some shit you didn't done and then he'll come down not come down but he will um judge you you know or he can just rebuke you matter of fact i'm gonna get this word rebuke I was going to say he can just rebuke you just to uh, put you through a test. 
to uh, harden you, to make you, in other words, to make you uh, stronger. These these trials and tribulations are nothing more than tests to make us harder. Meaning I will us uh, mentally and spiritually stronger. Okay. Strong's G, 3874. Paraclesis. Paraclesis. Okay. So right here, see, it says a calling near, summons, supplication, entreaty, exhortation, admonish, uh, admonition, encouragement, consolation, comfort, solace, that which affords comfort or refreshment. Salakia. I was going into the word exhortation. Okay, and uh, uh, what is the verse? Hebrews 12 and Hebrews 12 and 5. Salakia. I was, at, I was on the wrong word. So, right here for the word rebuked. That's what I want to go into. Strong's G, 1651. Eleg ho. Eleg ho. Alright, I knew I was reading them definitions and I'm like, Okay, I must have clicked on something wrong. So it says to convict, refute, confute, generally with the suggestion of shame of the person convicted by conviction to bring to the light, to it, to expose, to find fault with, uh, correct, to uh, reprehend severely. Admonish, reprove, or it says chide. I'm not sure what this word means. It says scold or rebuke. Okay, it says to call to account. So, you know, um, you know, we may do something. You may do something in this truth. And I'm not talking about something severely wicked. But uh, something that you did, you went off and it get brought to the light demand an explanation by deed to chasten to uh to punish so let's go back to the verse all right it says uh going back to this verse hebrews 12 and 5 and ye have forgotten the exhortation which speak it unto you as unto children <clears throat> My son, despise not thou the chastening of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, and faint, and or nor faint when thou or art rebuked of him. Okay, for whom Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai love it, he chasten it, chasten it, and scourge it every son whom he receive it. If ye endure chastening, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai dealeth with you as with sons. But she, that's the key. We have to endure the chastening and not get burned up by the by the fire, by the the um, fiery trials, as Peter put it, that come upon us. Okay. It says, "For what son is he whom the father chasteneth not? But if ye be without chastisement, whereof all are partakers." Then are you bastards and not sons. You see? That's where the uh the cheerfulness is supposed to come in at. Knowing that, yeah, it doesn't feel good to catch this hell. We gotta deal with it. It may piss you off, it may make you sad, whatever the case may be. But ultimately we, we should we're supposed to understand that. The Lord is Yahweh Bashem Yahweh is bringing this upon us to strengthen us, to really numb us to shit, all hell that's gonna break break uh loose in the world, specific uh, more specific in this country, Babylon the Great. It says, and be patient when thou art changed to a lower state. Okay. In other words, endure the suffering when we are changed to a lower state. 
Now in the spirit, we on a we've been raised up in the spirit, right? Because we have the understanding of the scriptures. But to this disgusting world, we've been um, you know, you're low. We we're looked at as low in this world, and we look at the world as if they're low. But another aspect of it is, you know, we understand that we are the chosen people of the most high. All right. That the kingdom is going to come on this earth where the Israelites are ruling. Where that is the kingdom. Okay. Starting with the elect. Right. And we still have to get up, go to work. Or if you got a business, you know, run your business. All right. We still have to deal with um, this vile kingdom. So it's like we've been raised up with this knowledge, but we're still in this disgusting world, you know. And another thing, too, coming into this truth is a thing of, um, you know, being humiliated. Because the scriptures say in the book of Proverbs before honor is humiliation. That's another thing, too, you know. The um, what is it called? A demonization that's gonna come. All right. Where the scriptures say, "Be patient." When thou art changed to a lower state. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna end the video right there. Um, Lord willing, this was edifying, and until the next one, I say, "Shalom."